hear the voice. But back to the story. What are we going to do? We have to come up with a plan. Yes, there must be a plan. I'm scared it better be a pretty good plan. So they put their heads and horns together and tried to come up with a pretty good poultry plan. Well, I'm not afraid of that mean and nasty troll. I'm just crossing over the bridge to get the nice green grass on their side. Oh no, you're not. I'm going to eat you for my breakfast. Oh, but I'm very little, very tiny. Why don't you wait for the middle billy goat rough? She's way bigger than I am. Her make sense. Wouldn't want to ruin my appetite. So while the troll got over it, the little billy goat quickly went pit patting over the bridge to the other side. Well, I'm not afraid of that mean and nasty troll. huge horns and tosses him into the raging river below. Never to be heard from again. Cool, huh? But let us actually tell you what happens on that fateful day. Mrs. Troll, I'm surprised you're still here. 
What do you mean? Of course I'm still here. This is my bridge, and I get to eat anything that crosses over it, if I want to. Didn't you meet the casting director that came over here yesterday? Casting director? Looking for me? Yes, I have his card right here before if he had any trouble finding you. Troll arrest. Hmm. Why did he want to see me? Because he's casting this enormous musical movie about trolls. He heard all about you and knows that you can sing too. Come on, get moving. You need to pack up it up and get out to Hollywood as quickly as you can. There's still time. So the troll packed up her belongings and rushed over to Hollywood where she was cast as the lead in the new troll movie. And now the little belly goat girl, and the middle belly goat girl, and the big belly goat girl, and all their friends, friends could cross over whenever they wanted to. And enjoy the sweet green grass and the beautiful scenery on the other side. After all, it gave them a whole new point of view.